Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, just a quick video here. I mean, this has been shown before on YouTube. There are other videos covering this, so it's worth having a look if you want to know a little bit more. But um, here's the data set that I cleaned up in the previous video. Um, um, I just connected my SD to um, AEC, and I just got it connected to the uh, 64 there. Uh, as you can see, I've got one of the Sony Discman adapters, and uh, I don't think you've seen these before, but basically it's a dummy cassette with a tape head play that you know it will output on that head uh, and it just mates to the play head uh, sorry the you know the reading head inside here when you press play as you can see you know so two mates up um, provided your azimuth is right on your tape and your unit itself and I've made sure they are they're both perfectly aligned um, and then connect to any kind of uh, audio output uh, in my case I'm using my iPhone here um, I've used some software, I'll put some links to this in the description. Um, find your um, audio track. So I've got Operation Wolf. Oh, I'm doing one bad apple. I don't know why my iPhone's having a slow moment at the moment. Okay. Operation Wolf, I'll just pause that. Um, yeah, and then do start your Amiga. No, it's not your Amiga, 64. Uh, I'll just sit on the tripod here yeah, so you can see. Um, I've got the cartridge in there at the moment so I can use uh, these fast loaders and stuff. Um, it's not going to work, I don't think it's not going to make any difference. I think that's probably just for the floppy drive. Um, but let's just see if I do shift and stop, press play. Press um, play on the iPhone. And hopefully, in a minute, you should see. Loading Operation Wolf. We should start to get the loader. There we go, it's the Wolf. That's how you can tell this is the uh, the version with the original loader music. Um, and it did take a bit of trial and error to do this, I had to mess around with the azimuth a little bit. I had to try a couple of different versions of this, I ended up getting a dot to tap file, which is a copy of the original tape. Um, you know, from the original media there with the loader. If you just get like a D64 image, you'll find that um, it will it will start to load, um, and it'll say you know found. I think it's Operation Wolf CE or something. Um, you press the Commodore key or just let it continue on, um, and it will load. But you just get the you know blank screen, um, and it takes about 15 minutes. It took forever. Um, whereas you know with a proper loader version like this, as you will hear in a minute, um, you get the pretty cool. Um, loader music. I should turn that up a tiny bit. So anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. Um, if you've got a C64, it's worth uh, getting one of those um, cassettes, uh, you know, head sort of. I think they're for FM radios. You know, you can use them in the car, stick them in your cassette uh, in your car or something, and you know, connect a CD player up to your car if you've not got one. Um, that's what they were sort of originally intended for. Um, or in my case, this is a Sony Discman. You know, it's the sort of thing you got for the uh, old Discmans and use it in a car and stuff. Um, music is just awesome. If you want to listen to the full version of this, you know, there's, just do a search on YouTube for Ocean Loader um, C64 and you'll find uh, there's a few different ones, the music slightly, slightly different between the different uh, games and things, but it's pretty much the same tune I think they've used for the, in two or three different games. Um, it's pretty cool, it sounds much, much better when it's, you know, played uh, directly through the, uh, you know, the audio is captured directly rather than through a, you know, microphone like this. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.